Hey, what's up with it once again, ladies and gents? Nintendo Sony Free Twin Love here, aka Manny Wolverine. I mean, Twitter, Instagram, Brady, and all this stuff. I'm not even gonna do my whole intro here. Um, this is about four or five days ago. Like I said, I was gonna do this video. I really wanted to do this reaction for a while. You're a piece of my fucking mind on this bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Some of the videos I've seen, I haven't looked at any of the other people's reactions, but some of the comments here I have heard on this Invader Beach. Oh my god. You thought Susie Lou was bad. You thought she was bad, or Alinity, or any of these other fucking Twitch thoughts were bad. You yeah, ain't seen nothing yet. That's probably the last time you see me without my hat because it's starting to get a little thick on the edges over here. Um, oh my god. Let me just tell you right now, a lot of these people lost a lot of the wealth and the stuff. And I, you guys can just skip to the duration point where I started doing the reaction to this shit, because my god. All this other shit that I have here, hold on. This, the Sebastian sauce, one of my pride and joys of the fucking world. What up with my thing? This, my NES Mini, which is way in the back over there. This, my Switch in the background right there, which actually, hold on one second. This, my Nintendo Switch that I have in the back of my NES Mini, and PS4 controller and shit. Even all my little, like, fucking Nendoroids right here. My Chibis. All of this shit right here. All of this. Every single one of those things. This, my German hand sanitizer. They know these two are mandatory. This, and this, and all of this. None of this shit is going to be worth the materially. There's one thing in this world. My own personal opinion, I'm not trying to throw religion or Christianity down the throat, but the past two months, <laughs> I haven't read it since 06. This is the shit that's going to save me from this world, man. Seriously. Essentially, all these things and signs and stuff I've been seeing, I'm not going to turn to a oh, hardcore Christian channel or any of that stuff. I'm still going to be doing video games, anime, manga stuff review, but without this, all this stuff can be taken away from me in a day. As long as I have this shit right here, this stuff right here, I ain't custom from the Bible, but. I'll be saying, this is my spiritual mental sword right here, emotionally. This right here will be worth it in the end. Because all this stuff, when I pass away one day, I can't even say the word with anything with the Grim Reaper involved. But this is the only thing that's going to save me after the end of this afterlife. In my own personal opinion, there is a heaven and hell. I have said it a couple times on this channel. But ugh, this, this is my real baby right here. And then this is like my second. Right here. I know this. I'm never going to have this forever. This is going to be way more important than this one day. Because this thing's going to rot in 100 years from now. It's going to just melt into the ground when I'm gone, gone. Like, I passed away and I'm gone. When death takes me away. This is going to be more important than this. This is going to stay here physically. This will be here for eternally. In my own personal opinion. Because I don't want to go down to that lake of fire. F of that, man. That's why I'm trying to cuss a lot less in my videos because of this. Especially the way things are going on right now out there in that world. This is going to be way more important than anything. As long as, as much as I love video games, I love anime, and I love the old school Mario shit. <laughs> this came back calling me two months ago. I'm beginning to, I've been reading it like three, four times out of the week. I gotta read it more. Anyways, let's get into this reaction video. Anna Liddy, not Anna Liddy, Vader B. A lot of these girls look almost the same to me. She says some really nasty, controversial shit. Let's go. It doesn't really matter how much money you make or how much money you have. That's really the thing, because I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution. If it costs... Oh yeah, says the person that has so many freaking subscribers and likes and so many Twitch and Instagram followers and all these other influencers. This is what I can't stand about these thoughts. And sorry, God, you're the shoe yet, Mount Zion. Forgive me for saying this, but this is bad, man. <laughs> all these girls ever care about these Casey Trons, these next influencers, their social media events are... TikTok, flip, Instagram. I don't even go on TikTok at all, period. That place is literally the modern day, like, internet virtual reality version of, um, freaking, like, Sodom and Gomorrah, in my own personal opinion. And this little C word has the audacity to say, oh, it's not how much money you make and how much. You, know, you can see she's had this little fucking smirk on her face, man. Freaking smirk on her face. I just want to smack the shit out of it. My God, man. The crap out of it, excuse me. This stuff gets me heated as hell. Not because of oh, all the materialism and shit they have. I showed you all the materialism I have. When I leave this earth one day and I'm gone, and it is what it is. Some people want to live forever. I don't want to live forever. That crap is a curse to me. If I get to live to age 70, 89 years old, I'm 31 right now. But if I were able to live that long, <laughs> that would be a curse for me. 
And this girl has the audacity because she has her Twitch and her followers. This is the same girl that said, oh, if you don't have enough money for me, like, pay for my bills. And I even heard of a new thing. It's called Fendom or something. Like, not Fendom, but, like, um, Fend Me or whatever. That you're, like, a piggy slave, a cash slave, and a freaking, like, something else slave. Like, what the heck is that crap? Seriously? Let's move on. $20 to sub? $20 is quite a bit of money. $20 is you can get... Mm, look at the crazy look expression is. I know I'm not supposed to be judging and stuff like that. And then she's got this shit in the background here. I can see it. No, I got stuff in the background. As you could tell, right there. I got this in the background. Yeah. I had these in the background. Obviously, like I was showing you earlier. But I don't worship these things like some of these people do. I know I'm not supposed to throw casting in the first judgment of the first stone. But this girl, she does not understand. And a lot of these people in their like late teens, early mid twenties, they have no way to understand the financial stability of money and shit right now. Twenty dollars a month. And this is the same girls like, oh, your parents should be ashamed that you're jerking off or whatever, like to Twitch girls, e girls. And thank God, none of this shit was around when I was in high school. I mean, it was with Block TV and Stick Cam, but well, there was a few girls shaking their butts here and there, but they weren't getting paid for it. And they were like cam girls and stuff back then in 2004 or 5 to 2009. A lot of them were college students using that. Not that many high school students were using unless you were rich as fuck, which I wasn't because I was poor as shit at that time. Thank God I was. It made me more of a humbler person in IRL. Well, let's move on. And this person, I can't stand the way this girl talks. Man. Get a full meal for $20. And the difference of $20 and... You don't know what it's like being out there in the fucking streets. I goddamn fucking do. When I was in poor and I'm... And I was like living in Harlem, New York. And I was living in these real poor ass ghetto fucking apartments. You have no idea the fucking shit that I saw there. A lot of things that a five, six, seven year old little 90s kid shouldn't be looking at. And I seen it. There's piss in the hallway fucking shit down there. Like people and like all this other drugs and alcohol stuff going on. It, it is a fucked up world. When you're living in your little fucking white suburban little fucking like gated community area you have no idea what the hell is like out there in the actual real world like i did i'm not saying other people don't know what it's like other people like me have known what it's like but anyways let's move on eating a meal is in that twenty dollars like that's where it is but a sub is five dollars at maximum in whatever your currency is it's maybe ten dollars and it doesn't matter how broke you are if you have time to watch twitch you have you have ten look at this <laughs> Wow. Okay. Okay. I see you doing. Oh, it doesn't matter how broke you are. You know some people I gotta be living a paycheck to fucking paycheck, man? Which, by the way, update. I was able to get this, like, little, like, quick, like, part-time job at, like, this drive-in movie theater thing, thank God. And I'm just gonna be one of the chauffeurs or whatever, so, eh, it is what it is. And I was working my hotel casino job, but, like, a month and a half already, I had to be laid off for a little bit, but hopefully I'll still be on call. You have no idea what it's like. You have no idea. You're not even living in the physical world. You're living in this worst reality world where you want some of these sugar daddies, younger kids, or college students to be paying off your debt and all this. Stuff. Donation bits. This is why I'm against donation stuff on Patreon. I'm not saying everybody on Patreon is a shill. Some people they use Patreon for good. Other ones they use it for bad. In Subscribestar, I highly suggest you use Subscribestar a lot better. I use like one or two people I like support. It's because one of them has real good artistic abilities to draw anime and manga. And another one knows how to make anime music better, but come on. Ten dollars, truly. If you don't have ten dollars, you probably don't have time to watch Twitch because you should be working. You should be trying to earn money. Uh, it's not a ton. It's not like a ton of money. So be <laughs> it's not a ton. It's not a ton of money. Oh my god. It's like you should be working on Twitch and you get ten dollars a month and twenty dollars. That's like a full meal. Shut the hell up, you bitch. You wouldn't have no freaking clue in the world. I just like to have a whole meal. Like, I remember I had to hit Top Ramen for almost two damn freaking years when I was in community college. It was not fun. And so half the time I had to eat stuff like Burger King Wendy's, like garbage ass food that's like processing all that shit. You don't know what the hell that stuff is like. Seriously, you don't know. You don't fucking know. You're not thinking. You silly freaking thought, man. I don't care if you're old. You're just, some people are accusing her of script writing. Hey, she, whether she was script reading it or not, or she was putting a smirk on her face, she had this all rehearsed as a rehearsal. It is what it is. I don't really give a shit about that, man. But you play with people's emotions like that, and you play with their money, they're going to freaking hit back. And it's like, no, it's no simpler. White night alert. And it has nothing to do with politics. Put all that crap aside with the whole get, well, go broke shit. That's, in my opinion, that's a psyop. It ain't real. Like how I know 5G and then all this other stuff, those sprays in the sky. And that shit is the what's getting hurt, people hurt. And I know and that's a whole other completely topic. It's not about, oh, the C virus or 
Oh, that's coronavirus. No, the chronics. Chronics, whatever. But anyways, let's move on. I'll start talking for the rest of it. Being like, I'm broke, I can't afford to sub, it, that doesn't really track. What you mean to say is, I'm so irresponsible with my money, I can't support the entertainment that I enjoy. <laughs> That's what- Look at that little fucking smirk, I just want to smack it on the fucking place. Oh. That. It doesn't really matter how much money you make. Anyways, yeah, overall thoughts, using opinions, I think this, this chick has so many fucking major issues, man. Seriously, she does. I don't know the person. I'm not trying to judge too harshly. You know, I just judged the ass a load of it, but... Whew, girl, you have a couple demons in your closet you get need to get rid of. And I think this is a really good solution right here. Anyways, that's all I got to say for now. Like I said, I'm not trying to throw religion and Christianity down people's throat, but... This is what people like on Twitch. When they get too much money and the money and the power corrupts their soul, in my own personal opinion. And they got so many influencers, so many people like... Some of their followers, they they worship these fucking people like that they're gods and they're, they're not. They they're humans that take a crap and they take a piss and a shit like we do, and then they they, they buy clothes like we do, they eat like we do half the time, you know. And they're, they're just like us, they bleed like we do, you know. I know there's like a whole thing, oh the lizard people and all that stuff. I know that's real. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know I'm in a part of the truth or alternative media movement community stuff. I know some of those people like QAnon and all that. That shit's like for me, that's not real. But the truth or side of the community is real. My own personal opinion, like, a lot of these girls, they think they could just, like, use up. The main lot of them are, like, 12 to, like, maybe, like, 19, 20 years old. Maybe 25. When I was in my early mid-20s, I'm not going to lie, there were a few of the Twitch thought chicks where I thought they were really cute, but I never gave them a dime. Never gave them a freaking cent of my hard earned busting my ass money. Ever. That's why a lot of my younger men out there, if you're, you're out there, oh, you want to look for women, you're like, this isn't a real relationship. This is a fake fantasy relationship. They don't care about you. They don't give a crap about you. It's like George Carlin said. They don't give a crap about you. They, they pay for all the judges and all that stuff. Like, I'll leave a link to that man's video before he passed away in 2009 when I was like 19, 20 years old at the time. One of the last real men on this earth that said everything about the truth. Man. Even though he was an entertainer for a little bit in Hollywood, but that's all their story. This chick right here. Invader Gaming B, oh god. You need to work on your freaking like preferences. Practice what you actually preach, in my own personal opinion. Whether this was a joke, it's like, oh, it's a troll little, little, little thing. Oh god. It makes me so glad I'm not in high school and college anymore, because even when I was in college, I've seen the brainwashing of so many people, man. It hit me a little bit financially, too, but not as bad as other people. It was worse with them. Anyways, that's all I'll say for now, I'm out here. Peace out. Um. Peace out once again, ladies and gents, bros, women, fanboys, fangirls, what's happening, going with that. I was going to react to this Mortal Kombat reaction thing. I might still do that later on, another day or two. We'll see how this shit goes along. Maybe it might be Tuesday, Wednesday. I usually don't do videos Wednesday or Thursday, so I might do it. Maybe. Just maybe. That's all I'm going to say for now. Yeah, peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen. Bros, women, I'll talk to Zeke. You out there. I'll see you, and see you guys today. Have a good night wherever you're at in the universe out there. Stay tomorrow for your content this video recording, um, video game. Video game industry news, anime manga news, internet news, reaction videos like this. Maybe. Once in a while. That's it. Take it easy. Peace out. I'm out like sauerkraut. Late soon. Bye. I'll see all you people on the flip side. Take it easy. I'm gone. I'm out. See you soon. Later.